Concrete inherently is a flawless airtight material. What's important to know is that with any structure, if you have a small flaw, it can cause big problems. How small a flaw? Very small. Take this, a piece of plastic. It's uh, bendable right now. It's not breaking. You can give it a try. Right. Yeah. It's bendy. No flaws? No. Now, if we add a, a flaw, just a small little cut. Well, that's it. That's it. Do the same thing. Give it a try. Look at that. <laughs> and that was it. That's enough. You can't have any flaws. It can cause big problems. Grant and his colleagues devise a test to show what might happen to trolls' legs if they had a small flaw. Firstly, they put a seam in a large plastic container and then reseal it. Then they fill the container with water and apply some pressure, explosive pressure. Everything is in place. One very, very slightly flawed water tank. System armed, it's live. Three, two, one. Wow. It went bang. Wow. Let's have a look. So what are we looking for, where and why? Well, you observe that there's a large gash yes, in the structure. It's broken. The flaw that we manufactured, we exposed it to a large force and we see failure. So that small flaw, that join, has compromised the entire structure. That's right. And this could happen as well in a concrete structure, any type of structure, really. And that's what we're trying to avoid. Judging by that, just a small weakness in the concrete would be lethal for the troll. But Grant also wants to show me the solution. Simply avoid defects or weaknesses. So, round two. Will the exact same plastic stand the same pressure if it doesn't have a seam? System armed, it's live. Three, two, one. Did it sustain damage? Did it make it? Let's go see. Looks to be intact. I think you're right. It survived it. It did survive. And this is same conditions, same amount of water, same charge. Exactly same material, same. yeah. The only difference is that there's no manufactured seam or a, a join, as we were calling it. And that was our floor, but our floor was where it was joined together. Yeah. And that's the same of concrete as it is of this plastic. That's right, the same principle. There's no flaw, minimizing the chance for damage on a catastrophic scale. Flaws, or seams, are lines of weakness. But how did the troll engineers make a thousand-foot-high slab of concrete without a single seam? The secret is to build without ever stopping. 24-7, rain or shine. I wanted to get up close to another concrete structure that's being built using the same technique to see how it's done. This time, it's a power station in Britain. Unfortunately, it means doing something I hate. I have to travel 600 feet up into the air in a small steel cage. 